Steamboat geyser eruption continues in Yellowstone National Park, major Kilauea eruption today in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. According to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO monthly update, Steamboat Geyser may experience a major eruption in the coming weeks. Located in the Norris Geyser Basin, Steamboat Geyser is the tallest active geyser in the world. According to YVO, small eruptions began at Steamboat Geyser in mid-December, suggesting that a major eruption is possible during the first few weeks of 2025. YVO confirmed that Steamboat Geyser experienced only six major eruptions during 2025, the fewest number since the geyser began periodically active in 2018. According to YVO scientist in charge Michael Poland, the decrease in Steamboat's annual eruptions is likely related to changes in its hot water piping system. Poland said, scientists have ruled out the possibility of earthquake activity. Steamboat seems to go through phases of higher and then lower activity, which is also the case with many other geysers in Yellowstone, Poland told Buckrail. This geyser experienced very active phases in the 1960s, the early 1980s, and since 2018. So this seems to be typical of Steamboat, and the fact that the number of annual eruptions has decreased over the past few years likely means it is returning to a dormant state. Yellow National Park YNP warns that when steamboat geyser erupts, dissolved minerals in its plumes can damage vehicle glass and paint. Eruptions can shoot water more than 90 meters high. Similar to the eruption of Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, lava fountains have been ejecting into the air. Scientists have noted a shift from summit deflation to inflation accompanied by a decrease in seismic tremors as the eruption ceases. Although Kilauea remains at the alert level and its aviation color code remains orange, there is no new activity currently occurring. The Kilauea eruption began around 5.15 a.m. today, with a low dome lava fountain less than 100 feet high and grew to over 200 feet with the slope of summit deflation and increasing seismic tremors. Lava fountains have erupted more than 300 meters high, with jets reaching up to 6,000 meters above the ground during the past several episodes. Similar behavior is predicted in the coming hours, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Winds are blowing from the north to northeast today, indicating that volcanic gas emissions and volcanic material may be blown south and southwest, according to the National Weather Service. All eruptive act fine to the Halamamau Crater within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Kilauea's volcano warning level remains at an alert, while the aviation color code is orange. Most lava flow episodes since December 23rd of last year have lasted about a day or less, and have been punctuated by eruptive lulls lasting at least a few days. The ongoing Halima Uma eruption at Kilauea ended abruptly on Sunday after more than 13 hours of lava flow. The northern vent stopped erupting around 6.35 p.m. and the less active southern vent had stopped erupting a few hours earlier. About 1.8 billion gallons of lava were erupted during that period, covering about 80% of the crater floor, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Lava eruptions do not exceed 330 feet in height. Volcanic gas emissions have decreased significantly since the eruption ceased. Lava spatter and flow deposits from this episode may exhibit slow movement and or luminescence as they cool and solidify over the coming days at the base of Halemaumu. Since the eruption began in December, 
most lava flow episodes have lasted one day or less.